Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the concept of fractions, especially how we can find and generate equivalent fractions on number lines, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So when we're dealing with fractions, let's start with a basic fraction, 1 half. Let's make sure that we know what each part is called. The numerator is the top number, and that shows you how many pieces are selected or how far along the number line, as we see, the number is. The denominator is the entirety of pieces there are, how many pieces or how many sections the whole is broken up into. And when we're looking at our word equivalent, equivalent, you see the word equal in there, E-Q-U and then A-L. So equivalent means just equal, the same. You can show the exact same quantity in different fractions. With number lines, it's a little tricky. So let's start with your basic number line over here. So we're going to say that's 0 and that's 1. So I'm going to break this into half. And I'm going to label this as 1 half. I know this is 1 half because it is halfway in between the 0 and the 1. Another way I can know it's 1 half is if I were to count the spaces between the 0 and the 1. So I've got one big space here and another big space here. So that makes two spaces. And my tick mark is at the end of the first space. If you go from left to right and you're moving, you've got one tick mark after the end of the first space. So that's why it's one half. If I were to move all the way over here to the second tick mark, that would be two halves. One is the same as two halves. Now how can I generate an equivalent fraction? If I were to take each half on the number line and cut it into half itself, we would have new fractions. So to see what these fractions are, let's count the number of spaces. So we've got one, two, three, four. So I'm going to label these as fourths. And then you start from the nearest whole number and move from left to right. And you can see what the numerator is going to be. So this is the first tick mark. So that's one fourth. You see right here, this is going to be two fourths. So this is where my equivalent fraction comes in. This right here is going to be three fourths. And if I really want to, I can say that one is equal to four fourths. So you see I've got these two numbers lined up here, one half and two fourths. So here's a challenge for you. What if you're shown a number line like this and you have to name not just one but two different equivalent fractions that this dot represents? Well the first one should be easy. Let's go ahead and figure out what this particular number line is showing us. I'm seeing that there are three spaces, so I'm going to break this up into thirds. And then starting from my zero and moving from left to right, the very first hash mark is where my dot is. That's one third. And then the second one is going to be two thirds. If I wanted to, I can keep moving. I could say that's three thirds. Now, how could I shift and change this into a separate fraction? The easiest way would be to take each of these pieces and cut them in half. So we have these green hash marks, and now I'm going to have a new denominator. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I took each of my thirds and cut them into half. So now I've got sixths. So if I count these little hash marks starting from left to right, so this is going to be my 1 sixth. And where my 1 third is, that's my 2 sixths. So there's my equivalent fraction. Just to keep going, I've got my third hash mark is going to be three sixths. And then two thirds is also equivalent to four sixths. And then this is going to be five sixths. And then six sixths is going to be the same as one. It's going to be the same as three thirds. Now you probably notice that when I hit this three sixths right here, I'll draw it in green right there. That's halfway between zero and one, so three sixths is also equivalent to one half. To make it a little clearer, I went over it in blue, and you see that if you had that dot as the only dot right there, it would be two big sections.